Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, season 5 episode 1 has dropped tonight of Love Island. A brand new villa, a brand new bunch of boys, a brand new bunch of girls, or men and women if you must. Now before we do get into this video, please check out my last video, uh, if you click there now you'll see the video. I made a documentary on faking going to Love Island for a week, it was crazy, it's a mini documentary, hope you enjoy that. Watch this video first though and then go watch that. Now everyone in the UK loves this time of year, it's summertime, the sun's out, well of course the, the, course the sun would be out yeah, why the world is our end of video but love island is back which means beautiful girls tits ass love villa ass um and just more girls and boys to be honest but the main thing we're going to be dissecting and focusing on this video is the love island cringe of 2019 in this first episode but we're also going to be just dissecting and reviewing like this first episode as a launch episode getting to know the people my opinions and thoughts of all the candidates of love island 2019. if you are new to this channel i would recommend you to hit that subscribe button uh, stay tuned for daily uploads and frequent uploads from your boy hit that like button if you are enjoying this type of content and turn on that post notification bell now you're probably wondering why is the screen background just these candidates in Love Island, there's plenty more. But let's be honest, we can tell from the first launch episode that I've seen myself that these people are going to be the main people in Love Island. They're going to be the drama, they're going to be the hot ones and the main topic that's going to cause drama, you know. Now Anton, first of all, is a player. I mean, you saw it the way he just walked in by the face. He just had one of those player faces, like he just moves all over the gap. I mean, we didn't even have five minutes before Anton moved on from Amy and started moving to Lucy. And let's be honest, lads, like, I, it's just one of those situations where I don't, I don't think Lucy's interested. Like, she's already got the other geezer. The surfer dude. I don't know, what do you class as a surfer dude? Like, to me, anyone could look like a surfer dude. How can you define if someone looks like a surfer dude because they got curly hair? So you're telling me Will Farrow is a surfer dude then? Unless you walk in with a surfboard and that insinuates I'm a surfer, no one is considered a surfer dude. Then Joe Gary yeah, you know, Joe Garrett, they always got to have that one person that sort of talks like this. Like, we've, oh, it's like, yes, it's been done before. They're trying to get the Joey Essex, they're trying to get the chem of this, this year's Love Island, essentially. The one that's like, he is smart and he's like a cool person, but also he like tries to act dumb, which is, is, it is dumb. But now, on a real, like, he actually just seems like a genuine decent guy, so I could not really much to say about him, really. Next, we have Michael Graphics, or, or Graphic, or Graphic. Well, I mean, we see all the graphics on his body already. And I have no problem with tattoos. I actually like tattoos, but when you go in that extreme, yeah, you can't call yourself a hero. Uh, yes, yes, you're a fireman, yeah, but just don't come with the cringy lines about your hose. And like, he just seems so stuck up. Like, I know this is his first impression, but he seems stuck up. He said he was a 10 out of 10. Nobody, nobody should ever, yeah, call himself a 10 out of 10. Like, leave that for other people to judge, maybe. Now, Sharif, like, I mean, uh, just... <laughs> Sharif, man. Like, is there is there any point anymore? Like, just just leave the villa. That nah, I'm joking. I mean, hopefully he does find love here, because I feel I feel bad for him. I really do. Being in that position in Love Island, in the villa, where you just know just no one wants to pick you, and you have to try and push yourself onto people. I feel like he is gonna slowly turn into the gay best friend though. Now, Callum, everybody, Callum McLeod. He is. He's the nice guy, and we all hate, I'm sorry to say this, but we, especially on programs like this, we hate the nice guy. In general, actually, why do, why do nice guys exist? Yeah, I'm sorry, and I'm not talking about someone who's just nice. People that are over-exaggeratedly nice, just trying to be nice. He might not even be nice. I don't know if any of that just made sense at all. But what I'm trying to say is, sometimes you need a bit of manly, some confidence in you, but he's just like, he's being the Dr. Alex of last season. And all up an aircraft engineer, of course you are, mate. You're probably loaded as well. Right, then Curtis Pritchard. What comes in there, all like cocky. Like basically, with him, we don't really know much about him because we saw a couple of minutes of him talking. But his response to the question that the girls asked him about, what's your type? And he's like, oh, personality. Oh, I'm calling it now. That is a lie, ladies and gentlemen. Or maybe he is just like that. Comment down below. All right, and then Tommy Fury comes in, yeah, with, with the fighting muscles, yeah. Oh, chill out, son. I'm joking, I shouldn't be threatening him. He might punch me. Like, really, see, like, he's a god. Like, he is a god. Like, just because he's Tyson Fury's brother, automatically just. Every girl is attracted, attracted to him there. I feel like he's going to be the main person of the new two people coming in, in the Love Island of next episode. That's going to stir the pot, you know, like the best witches. No offence to Tommy Fury. Seems like an alright person. He's got muscles, we get it. But I do feel like in the main, in the pictures that he takes, like, some really sometimes, like, he doesn't need to flex his muscles. He already has muscles, we can see him. He's a fucking boxer. For fuck's sake. But, like, it is, he's openly, like, putting his chest out. I like people that like, walk around like this. You alright mate? There's just no need for it. So that's all the boys in the villa. Now let's head over to the girls. Jesus Christ, this is gonna, it's gonna be a tough one. So first of all, we've got Anna. Meet Anna, I mean look, she's a stunning, tall, humongous, 
Eiffel Tower sort of. Uh, no, I'm, joking, I'm kidding. I mean, I know she's tall, but she realistically thinks she's like Peter Crouch or something. She's actually got a checklist like this. Everybody comes in. No, 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 not not over 12 feet. No, no. So, boys, I do recommend if you want to be licking this girl, you need to be on like some stilts or something. Or, or do what they used to do in like old movies, like stack two midgets on top of each other to make them tall. You must be thinking in the back of your head whilst watching Anna, she does look like somebody. And yes, a B list, no, right. a C list. Kim Kardashian. Like she's got, she's gone for that look. She put like a humongous filler all over her lips. That looks like she's inflated. Which, by the way, girls, women, men, even there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you look after your body because you are beautiful. You know. I'm like, sorry to judge, but how is she a pharmacist? She does not look like a pharmacist. She looks too dumb, quite rightly, to be a pharmacist. She's probably just saying that as a sort of like stage name. You get know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, I'm a ph pharmacist to seem clever, but actually, uh, she's thick and not too see thick, just thick. Now you wonder, like. Like pr pretty pretty woman, obviously, but like I, I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure you're gonna handle what I'm about to say here, and take it with a pinch of salt too. But I have a conspiracy theory, and not just me; it's all over Twitter. There's some dodgy business going on in Love Island, especially to do with the race and the color of these people. Now, I'm on, honestly, it could be a coincidence, but just check this out. So, season two, Malin, Marlin, Malin was picked last. You know, nothing wrong with that. Season three, Marcel was picked last. Okay, ooh, a bit of a suspicious coincidence maybe here. Season four, Samira gets picked last. You know where we're going with this. Season five, all I'm saying is, Season 5, episode 1, you're one that gets picked last. That's, that's all I'm I'm not insinuating anything, I'm just saying that does, I'm just putting it out there, it is a bit suspicious. You couldn't even say it's quite interesting. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of that joke. All right, Lucy, she seems like a sweet, a sweetheart, a sweetheart, mate, a sweetheart. I, I don't know why I said that. She does not talk like she's a woman. Very good looking girl, but the fact that she's from Cornwall, ee, don't, don't want to know. Anyone from Cornwall? No, no thanks. Now Amber, Amber Gill walked into Love Island, the light-skinned baddie from Newcastle. Now she's gonna be a troublemaker, you can just tell by just the short ones that are like mischievous. They're like little rats, are like just, like, I mean I can't compare it to a rat, but they're just very mischievous. So I feel like they're gonna stir some stuff up in the island. And this is an actual quote from her, and it was just this. I love dogs. Like just so, so like, okay, thanks love, who doesn't love dogs? Like that honestly, Love Island thought they'd put that in an article of her just saying, I love dogs. Like that really shows her personality. Next we've got Amy Hart done, done out here. And unless one of the new people take up, she, she's done. I mean, she's she's gone. She's Her man's left already somehow. She's done, I'm just saying. So Amy my love, I suggest you take a flight out of Mallorca. Do you get that joke? Do you get it? Because she's a, a cabin crew manager, like a flight, because a flight. Wow, I'm really bad at these, aren't I? I was gonna say something as well. Anna and Sharif, how is that gonna work? Like physically, she's 28 and he's he's like 20. Like she, he would get crushed, like quite physically. Now let's get on to the memes, the big fat juicy memes and the cringe. Like first off, Bev, stop. Like who is it? Lucy, whoever's saying it. Bev is not a word for a guy, a phrase for a guy, it's a drink. Just don't say that, it's just mind boggling myself. Like, there's other catchphrases you can have, you know? Like, look at Buzz Lightyear's one, to infinity and beyond, like that's actually creative. Or your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but just the ones like, yeah, yeah, that's my Bev, the Bev, that's the Bev that is, like stop. So I was on Twitter and I saw there's a new Love Island crap catchphrase. I thought, oh, this is gonna be funny. I can say it to my friends, we can make a couple jokes. This is gonna be class. And what is it? Um, it is what it is. That, like, wow, the, the thought behind that, like, it, it is what it is. How does that mean anything apart from it just is what it is? And like, at this point, Love Island contestants are just getting more and more dumb. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been it for my review on Love Island's 2019 first episode launch. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy some of this content, if you're new around here. I'm a small YouTuber trying to grow my channel, trying to strike my dreams, and I hope all of you at home are too. This, this year's Love Island is going to be interesting. If you want me to make more videos on this, probably not after each episode, or if you do, comment down below what types of videos you want me to make on this. Go over to my video on my last channel, I'll leave the cards up at the end now, uh, and watch my documentary on me faking going to Love Island for a week. Uh, leave a like on it, leave a comment as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. More Love Island cringe on the way, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't know if any of you noticed, but this is the same top I wore last year when I made a Love Island video. That's also on my channel, so please, please watch that. Like, please. <laughs>